Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, as I said from the onset, I strongly oppose this bill, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I'm just citing on the increased taxation on fuel levy. And for me, if you increase fuel levy, it means the cost of production is going to be high, the cost of transportation is going to be high. It will also affect agriculture because agriculture depends on machinery and the machinery they depend on diesel and petrol as power. Honorable Speaker, as you know, the cost of living right now is very high and Kenyans have been burdened by this. Honorable Speaker, right now, Unga is about 250. If by bad luck this bill passed, it will mean it will go beyond 250 shillings. That means Kenyans will not be able to have a plate of meal. I don't know whether Kenyans are going to, to go back to the concept of fasting, the way the Shakaola victims have been doing, because they will not be able to, 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 to put a plate to eat. Honorable Speaker, there is the issue of the turnover tax. The turnover tax before it used to be around what, 1 million shillings, but now it has been reduced to 500,000. Meaning if you divide by 365 days, it means if you're making a sale of about 1,370 per day, you are going to put a tax of 3%. And these are the hustler people, the mamamboga, the boda boda, the mamamahambri. All of these people, they don't have money, they are broke, they are poor, and yet they are being told to give that kind of a taxation. Honorable Speaker, the issue of housing, I think this could be done voluntary because right now so many Kenyans, especially the civil servants, let's look on our humble teachers, our police officers, our KDF guys and other civil servants who already have already incurred some mortgages from other financial institutions. Others have taken loans from various banks and yet they have been forced to pay a fund for housing. Honorable Speaker, I think it should not be mandatory, but it should be a voluntary. So many questions have been raised on this issue of housing. For instance, if a couple, both of them are civil servants, are they both going to be charged that 3%? Is two houses a priority for them? Maybe they would need to have only one house. But then, because they are both civil servants, they are going to pay that taxation. Another question is, for somebody who has, has few years to, to retirement, maybe five or ten years, if he pays that taxation for five and ten years, what will happen? Is he going to get that house? If he's not going to get that house, where will that money go? Is he going to get that man back? Is he going to get an interest of that money? So there are so many questions which as Kenyans, we need to have been thought about it even before putting on in this bill. Honorable Chair, there is a saying in Kiswahili which says mtu ujikuna afikapo. I know we have put a big budget, but do we chew what we cannot swallow? Let us just go gradually because Rome was not built in a day. I know there is a lot of wastages. There is a lot of corruption. If you only look on those loopholes, on the wastages and on the corruption, and also those vote heads, which they are not that priority. I don't say that they are not important, but maybe it's not a priority. Like today in the budget, there are some offices which have been allocated, huge fund, a lot of money, big monies, and yet if you look on the function and the roles, it is not a priority. Our priority as a country is to reduce the cost of living for Kenyans. Honorable Speaker, I want also to talk about the increased tax on mobile money transfer. As you know right now, majority of Kenyans, I can say maybe over 70%, they depend on mobile money transfer. Even our parents in the rural setup, where the banks are not there, we keep on sending money by, via mo mobile money transfer. And today, we are going to increase the taxation from 12 to 15%. That means you will pay more 3% to send money through mobile money M-Pesa. Honorable Speaker, there is also advanced tax on commercial vehicle. When you talk about commercial vehicle, you don't mean to talk about matatus, you don't mean to talk about lorries. We are using matatu. Is the fear not going to be high? It is going to be high. You want maybe to transfer your materials, building material and something else using the lorries. Lorry is also part of the uh, the, the, the vehicles which you are talking about here. So it means it will be very expensive. Honorable Speaker, I want to urge my colleague to be objective leader, which I believe they are objective leader, and look at this bill and look at Kenyans. Because we don't say that we don't want to pay tax. Taxation is part.
Mutunga. Yes, what's the point of order? Kamket. Is it Kamket? <laughs>